still on this uh, EG2 music conversion. Kind of got stuck with this one. It's sending like too many requests when scrolling, which is a bit annoying. Now the idea is if I want to convert this EG into music, should be pretty straightforward. Or maybe not. I don't know. Depends. Depends how you look at it and this becomes a bit uh, too slow yeah that's the seizure there let's check in our cpu is in performance mode that should be fine there's a problem with an ages age conditions on that thing they essentially do not work now the other thing is we also have this test html which just takes a frequency and generating a sine wave <phone rings> sounds like that sorry if it was too loud essentially what we want to do now is combine the two so we want to extract the frequency from here for a certain time window and translate into a sinusoid and keep uh, playing it yeah we also want something interactive so when you change the position within the file or window size the algorithm will change as well so it feel feels like you are generating music so this code is working fine playing sine wave in a browser now i want to Instead of having this uh, frequency component, the frequency value, we want to extract it from the EEG first and then the play the sound as we go. Probably eventually get rid of this button uh, so it's more interactive. Don't need the button. So, how to do it? EG is from another application. Yeah, it's this one here. It's also not greatly responsive. Yeah, I want something more responsive. And hopefully it will appear on the side sometime soon. Soonish. I think it should be use this one yeah i'm thinking starting from scratch no as in before we start from scratch and get very complicated too complicated might actually go for this one and remove the spectrogram and replace it with um, audio uh, generation how does that sound the other way, third way, so first way will be just continue from where we left off. Second way is uh, taking this and restructuring, removing the spectrogram and adding audio generation options. The third way will be starting off uh, going with this code here, an actual sound generator. Didn't realize like how simple this was because before we were trying to use a MIDI, web MIDI with its uh, a JavaScript but apparently you don't need it also the structure of this thing became rather too complicated question if this one can be made a bit faster as well I don't know, there's this lag when I actually click on the screen to when the response to when the chart is changing yeah and they're changing in a different manner as well the spectrogram is more just a bit more responsive actually maybe not yeah now i'm not clicking anything it's still uh, still going why do i have seven percent dropped frames so it's actually happening when i'm using the tool so that's not cool yeah when i'm because it's affecting my live stream. I'm doing the live stream of the same server. Yeah, you can see more frames are being dropped. It's not good. 
it's using too much data i thought this data meant to be a loaded already yeah we have to change this to actually not take effect and unless you release the mouse so if you scroll through that like crazy it would not affect anything yes yeah, similar to those the cgjs should be file scroller can run it locally using this app by it's much quicker on a local server it's kind of obvious but yeah why the one is not doing anything yeah i should have been doing everything in on a local server so it's not affecting my internet connection okay i literally don't know why we have those twice yeah, each one of them has its own problems we need to then uh, mix and match certain things for it to work better anyway we don't need all the midi stuff that's for sure we need to make the, all those applications uh, lighter so they don't use too many resources okay so that's the test go that's work it's working okay that's the one generating that sound at the specific frequency we can we add the frequency slider to the code i'm not sure is that another application let's try this quickly working feels like one of those old school student projects and i also uh, want the stuff this one again so probably want to convert the eg to music just to generate the frequency components to continuous play without the button so essentially the frequency to change when the slider is changing but the tone being constantly played so this one should be pretty straightforward the idea is yeah we don't want any buttons wow it's generating forever take this one for a sec right now from this frequency Network error with ChatGPT and it doesn't let me continue. There's only a regenerate option. If the goal is to pair continuous tone that changes with the EEG data input, instead of integrating the tone generation with the EEG data fetching functionality, dynamically adjusting the tone based on the incoming EEG data. This script provides a solid foundation for a web application that visualizes EEG data and interacts with MIDI devices. Depending on your exact requirements, you might need to adjust the interaction patterns and data handling to suit your application's goals. To implement continuous tone generation, you would... The next... I don't actually need that slider that the frequency meant to be changing depending on the frequency of the EG. Is there a slider or the frequency is actually changing based on the EEG signal? Process EEG data. Analyze or process the EEG data to determine how it should affect the tone's frequency. This might involve calculating averages, detecting peaks, or applying other signal processing techniques. Continuous tone generation, like in the slider example, initialize and start an oscillator outside of any event listeners that it plays continuously. Real-time data handling. If the EEG data is streamed in real-time, you need to establish a mechanism, like WebSockets, for continuous data transmission. Data processing. The way you interpret the EEG data to control frequency can vary greatly depending on your application's goals and the nature of the EEG signals. User experience. Continuously changing tones can be disorienting or uncomfortable to users. Ensure that there are controls to start, stop, or adjust the audio output. This approach assumes a more complex integration between EEG data and audio output, requiring a good understanding of both EEG signal processing and audio synthesis. Yeah, so there's a couple of things. One is that we, if we have a small window size, we can then be generating the sounds by moving the scroller through the file. There is a longer segment. We want to break it into segments for generating multiple tones consecutively like the second option is probably a better one at this stage we might continue next time yeah bye